Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Now, here's your host, Timothy Carter. Thanks for joining me. We're going to talk about what's the worst that can happen in an SEO campaign. You know, people seem to have mixed feelings about SEO. There are some hardcore purists who insist that SEO is perfect for everybody and will perpetually remain a viable and cost effective marketing strategy. But there are also business owners who refuse to partake in what they feel is an unsafe and questionable strategy and tons of variance in the people in between. The chief concerns usually stem from the risks of the strategy. There are horror stories of business owners losing significant visibility as a result of algorithm changes or flawed strategies and scamming SEO businesses who overpromise and underdeliver are a real threat to anyone unacquainted with basic SEO strategy. Plus, there's the chance that your investment of time and money doesn't earn you the ROI you were hoping for. Despite all these risks, both real and perceived, I still personally believe SEO is a viable strategy. But if you aren't convinced by my word or, you know, the host of of evidence you can find elsewhere on our SEO blog or out there in, in the world, you know, let's take a look at the worst case scenario. You know, what's the worst that could happen to you in starting an SEO campaign? Well, there are several ways you can start out, but only a handful of ways that an SEO campaign can burn you in each scenario, starting from scratch. If you're starting an SEO campaign from scratch, you don't have much to lose. Your site isn't ranking in Google at all, and you have little to no domain authority to speak of. You know, pursuing a bad strategy. If you use a bad strategy like posting posting external links without direction or stuffing your content full of keywords, you aren't going to drop and rank significantly because you're already at the bottom. If you make an egregious mistake like hiding keywords in the background of your site or deliberately spamming potential customers, you might earn an actual Google penalty in that case. You'll have trouble crawling out unscathed. Either way, you'll still have plenty of time to make up for your mistakes and if you're following best practices with links and content on your site, you'll have nothing to worry about in the first place. Number two, failing to invest uh, enough time or money. This is the biggest risk for companies starting from scratch. It takes effort and patience to see the results of an SEO campaign. And if you only dabble in the strategy, it's never going to pay off. For example, if you only spend an hour a week on things like writing content, posting on social media, and working your external resources, you know, you might never generate enough momentum to actually rank, resulting in a loss of time or money that you put in or paying too much. There's also that danger of paying too much for SEO services. If you go with an agency that charges an exorbitant rates for simple services, you could end up with a negative ROI, but everyone's got to start with something. So let's say you've been in business for a while and your brand name shows up in Google for the occasional search. You have some ground to lose, but you're still not ranking especially well. Now, pursuing a bad strategy with this, you know, bad strategies can have similar effects for the business that has already got a a foothold in the search rankings. You know, egregious errors here can set you back months or years of effort, and even small deviations from best practices can cause you to lose valuable ground. Still, if your primary focus is on improving your customer experience, you know, you don't have anything to worry about. Now, failing to uh, invest enough time or money, you know, here, once you've got a foothold in the search ranks, you'll need to spend, you know, some significant time and money to move up to the next level. If you fail to scale your investment in line with the growth of your ranks, you could end up stagnating and failing to to see a, a positive return. Now, if you're paying too much, you know, like with starting from scratch, if you pay more than what your your needed services are actually worth, you'll you'll wind up obviously with a negative or at least a diminished ROI. Still, 
This rarely results in a catastrophic loss as well. Now, what if you're starting with ample authority? In this scenario, you know, you're, you're already ranking high for a number of keywords and queries, either through a pre-existing SEO campaign or through natural growth from user reviews, inbound links, and other factors. So pursuing a bad strategy here with ample authority can cause some serious damage. At this level, a Google penalty from an egregious error could result in devastating losses of visibility and traffic, so definitely avoid any black hat practices like the plague. Smaller errors can have a significant effect as well, but by this point, your domain authority is so well established that it won't take much time or effort to fully recover. Now, if you're failing to invest enough time or money at this level, if you want to see more results, you're going to have to invest a large chunk of time and or money. Otherwise, your results will merely keep you afloat. Staying afloat can yield you a positive ROI, but be careful not to let your efforts slip or your ranks could start steadily dropping. Combine that with the fact of what your competition may or may not be doing as well. Now, again, paying too much, you know, it's still possible to spend too much for services, especially if you're already enjoying a nice search position. Choose your agency partners and consultants very carefully. So, you know, as we wrap this up, you know, there are real risks associated with an SEO campaign, but only if you pursue a flawed strategy. Going with the cheapest office option is liable to burn you, as is flying blind and hoping for the best when you don't know what you're doing. But even in those cases, there's no such thing as irreversible damage. Unless you're deliberately pursuing spam-based or other terrible on-site strategies, it's almost impossible to be blacklisted by Google, and even if you are, you can always appeal. Realistically, as long as you're working with a qualified source, either through an authoritative SEO agency like us, like us or you've got an in-house expert, you know, dedicated to the proper time and resources to your approach, you should have no problem in achieving a positive ROI in your SEO campaign. And I think that's it for today's episode. So if you need some help and you want to improve your site's organic visibility, come on over to seo.co and have a, a free consultation. You can schedule it right up on the site. You can learn how we can help you scale your ability to outright and outrank your competition. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.